Cup, which is the champions of the Champions League against the champions of the Europa League. Does anyone care about this? Yeah, they really do. Um, I mean, they, they particularly do in Seville, oh. of course. When, when Sevilla had that amazing run of, of five trophies in 18 months, they very definitely counted the European Super Cup. Uh, Sevilla see this as an opportunity to win a European trophy, albeit a European trophy that's less important than other ones. And from Real Madrid's point of view, I think this is a way of celebrating the European Cup. And that 10th European Cup is genuinely, emotionally, a very, very big deal indeed for them. It's Gareth Bale playing at home. And, of course, it's the beginning of the next challenge, and the next challenge is to win six trophies in the year, as Barcelona did under Guardiola. It's also a challenge, Craig. It's something that we've talked about on the show, isn't it, quite a lot, of how you're going to fit all of these big players into the starting eleven. I'm just wondering if Real Madrid do have a press conference whether Sid's going to turn up dressed the way he is tonight <laughs> with that T-shirt on, because I'm not hey, seeing He's that. got to show off the tan, hasn't he? He's, he's like you. That's why you've worn white as well. Well, well yeah, but I've got, you know, I've, I'm slightly dressed a little bit better, I would like to say. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> he's got a jacket on. <laughs> he's got a jacket he's on. What more, more can you ask for? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think the question for Real Madrid is, is always how do you fit the big stars in? And we've talked about that all over mm. the summer since they signed... Rodriguez, you know, how are they going to balance, how's Ancelotti going to balance it, who's going to play where and, and how often, uh, but that's, I think that's a nice headache for, for a manager to have, it's, it's better than the alternative. How is he going to balance it, Sid, because there's a lot of big names, a lot of egos as well to massage. Yeah, there are, and I, I think this. But this was something that we saw last year that Ancelotti is very, very good at doing. Um, last year, Real Madrid went through three or four different formations. They started with four-two-three-one. They played four-three-three at the back end of the season. They were playing something close to four-four-two. Certainly, when they didn't have the ball and players were dropping into positions, I think they'll be flexible. My guess would be that to start with, at least, we'll see Bell, Benzema, and Cristiano Ronaldo in, in a line of three with James Rodriguez just behind them, and then uh, Tony Cruz and Luka Modric behind him. That's what I think we'll start with. The question mark then will be how well does it function and whether Ancelotti wants to start tinkering with it. As I say, last year there were lots of changes, including of course Angel Di Maria being put in a different position from his natural one.